YouTube team, keep it clean. What's going on? It's Engraven here with another video. And shout out to Barstool Banks because this is, I believe, the third year in a row where he has dropped the Raven schedule before it comes out. And for the past two years, it has been spot on. So his credibility is up there already. And he, you know, he plugged in a little bit too. So anyway, shout out to him because that full schedule has dropped. Now, before we get into this schedule and what I think of it, I got to say shout out to y'all. Make sure you tell somebody you love them. Make sure you tell somebody you appreciate them. And do more to spread positivity. The negativity, nah, we don't need none of that. And if you know somebody that consistently always bringing up negativity around you, then again, like, mm -mm, nah, mm -mm, no. Anyway, getting into it. Uh, of course, the in the live stream, I'm not sure if we're still going to live stream later on tonight. That may be, uh, that's still up in the air. But anyway. Um, week one, of course, as we all know, Monday Night Football against the Raiders. A lot of us looked at them tickets and were like, mm, 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 mm. Because I saw from Miami to Vegas, super cheap airfare, round trip too, jet blue and all. But then I looked at the price of the tickets, I almost threw up. But anyway, uh, week two, <laughs> fresh out the gate, the home opener. Against the Kansas City Chiefs. <laughs> and I know a lot of Ravens fans are pretty upset about that one. Um, because Ravens fans, a lot of Ravens fans, why you guys keep putting us against the Kansas City Chiefs so early in the season? The way I look at it, you're going to have to play them now or later. And if you make the playoffs, which we expect the Ravens to, if you make the playoffs and you advance in the playoffs, you're going to have to play them sooner or later regardless. It ain't no escaping the Chiefs. So whether you play them early, whether you play them late, because if so, the way that some people look at it, oh, why do we have to play them early? We won't even be clicking on all cylinders yet. But then if you go the turn of the route where, oh, we should play them later in the schedule. Well, they'll be clicking on all cylinders too, just like the Ravens will. So either way, you got to play the Chiefs, deal with it. Well, Ravens ain't got no choice. Uh, week three, Detroit. Okay. Um, and it looks like, yeah, okay, those are all the home games. All right, so yeah, week three is at Detroit Lions, so we get to play uh, Jared Goff and them. Uh, week four is against the Denver Broncos, so we are traveling to Denver for that one. So three out of our first four games are away. So what that does for the Ravens, they got to come out on point. I mean, even if the games were at home, they still got to come out on point. But with them traveling, they got to be that much more on point, that much more ready. Uh, but anyway, moving forward, week five, uh, Monday Night Football. Are well, you ready for some football? So week five is against the Colts, uh, and that is a home. Whoa, that, whoa, shiver me timbers. That's a, that's a home game. That's a, a hold on. Let me, I, I ain't got my glasses on, so maybe my eyes are acting up, but I – this is a Monday night football game, a home game for the Baltimore Ra We never get those, ever. We, we, wow. NFL, what's going on? Anyway, uh, the following week is at home against the Chargers, so Justin Herbert comes to that. That's going to be a tough one. That boy is cold, man. Justin Herbert is cold, man. And then we get the other young boy, uh, and all them receivers, they drafted like 80 receivers, the Cincinnati Bengals. And then on October 31st, week eight, we get a bye. So it's not dead in the middle of the season, but it's not at the end of the season or anything. like. It's, it's a little before the middle. It ain't too bad. But then uh, we after the bye, we come out and we play the Vikings at the crib. So, okay, so we got a nice little home stretch heading into the bye. So week five, six, and seven at home, then the bye week, and then we come out week nine at home. So we're going to be at the crib for a little minute. And then week 10. It's Thursday night football, so it's prime time, baby. Week 10, another home game in Miami down here. Ooh, Ravens flock, you know we about to show out for that one. You know it's going to be crazy there for that one. Week 10 at the crib, like you already had four home games in a row. The NFL gave us five home games in a row against the Colts at M&T, against the Chargers at M&T, against the Bengals at M&T, against the Vikings at M&T, and against the Dolphins in Miami. That's five home games in a row. You know about them Florida Ray. Oof, I can't wait for that one, man. Anyway, uh, then they travel to Chicago to take on the Bears. I forgot that we played the Bears. Oh, yeah, we played the NFC North this year. Uh, and then, ooh, November 28th, Sunday Night Football at, at, at the crib. So look at, wow, that's, that's two, two 
home games at M&T Bank Stadium. It's crazy. But Sunday Night Football, we get the Browns at the crib. And then the following week, we get the Steelers at the crib, but that's just a regular game. Uh, and then we face Cleveland. So we play Cleveland two times in three weeks. Uh, we play all the, the AFC North four times in four weeks because we play the Browns Sunday Night Football. And then the week 13 is the Steelers. Then week 14 is the Browns again at Cleveland this time, though. And then week uh, 15 is at Cincinnati. And then to close out the schedule, whoo, this is tough. But at, to close out the schedule, we play the Packers at the crib. So we're going to be facing Jordan Love and them. And then we play the Rams at the crib. So we're going to be taking on Aaron Donald and them. And then week 18, we play Pittsburgh in Pittsburgh. So that is your 2021 to 22 NFL schedule. Uh, and wow, yeah, it goes two games in January, January 2nd and January 9th. Oh, yeah, because we got 18 weeks now. Since they decided, you know what, let's add another, let's add another game to the schedule. And in a couple of years, they're going to add another game to the schedule. Well, I guess in like the next 10 years because they got the whole CBA thing. Anyway, um, that is your schedule. That is where we at. So just a quick recap again. Week one, Monday Night Football against the Raiders. Week two, regular game against the Chiefs. Week three, against the Lions. Week four, against the Broncos. Week five, Monday Night Football against the Colts. Week six, against the Chargers. Week seven, against the Bengals. Week eight is a bye week. Week nine, against the Vikings. Week 10, down here in Miami, Thursday night football. Uh, week 11 against the Bears. Week 12 against the Browns, Sunday night football. Uh, week 13 against the Steelers. Week 14 against the Browns. Week 15 against the Bengals. Week 16 against the Packers. Week 17 against the Rams. And week 18 against the Steelers. Now, I know y'all know that the schedule is set in stone, but it's not set in stone because you know things happen, happen and flex scheduling happens as well. So with the flex schedule, what that means is that games, depending on playoff seating and whatnot, it happens toward the end of the season. Um, they may change some games. And now I I'm like 99.99% sure that they've also enabled Monday night football games to be flexed as well. Now, our first game is not going to be flexed as impossible. They're, they're not doing that. And the one against the Colts, that should be fine as well. And we don't have any other uh, Monday Night Football games besides that, but it's possible that the Ravens or some other team could be flexed into Monday Night Football, depending on how their game, uh, what kind of implications it has uh, on playoff seating. So that'll be something to watch out for. Not anytime soon. It wouldn't happen till during the actual season, like way during the season. Won't happen at the beginning of the season. It'll be way into the season. So it ain't even anything to worry about now, but just something to sort of have a heads up on uh, as we get to. <laughs> we got a while to go. But as we get to the season, as we inch closer and closer uh, and day by day goes. Um, so this we we ended up getting one, two, three, four, four primetime games, four primetime games. I think I said that I think that they would get like four or five. Um, so this is really not a shocker, uh, but there's a possibility of more primetime games being added. And of, of course, just a quick recap of the primetime games. Monday Night Football Week 1 against the Raiders. Uh, Monday Night Football Week 5 against the Colts. Uh, and then Thursday Night Football against the Dolphins. Ooh, I can't wait. Uh, and then Sunday Night Football against the Browns. So, again, there, there could be more. There probably will be more. Something probably going to be flexed. Ravens' schedule is probably not going to stay like this forever. But until then, we'll see when we get there. Team, keep it clean. I love y'all. I appreciate y'all. Ravens schedule makers, this ain't too shabby. I mean, we wasn't going to complain regardless. I mean, it's football. We want to just watch the games and enjoy them. It's like straight up. But anyway, just like the Ravens' schedule is, I'm out. <laughs>